Namaste and welcome to Namaste Yoga. My name is Surbhi. I am a yoga teacher. The goal of my channel is to tell you all those little tips and tricks that many yoga teachers know, but somehow in class setting, they do not get conveyed to the students. So let's start today's session. In today's video, we are learning the unique variations of cat-cow breathing that not only improve flexibility, but also help strengthen your arms, shoulders, spine, and core. However, if you have weak wrists, carpal tunnel, or tennis elbow, this might not be the best workout for you. So watch closely for alternative tips. Now come on all four, we are going to do cat-cow breathing. Make sure your hips and knees, shoulders and wrists are aligned together. As you inhale, look up, chin up, belly drops down. As you exhale, curl your back, chin to chest. Inhale, look up, chin up. Exhale, curl your back, chin to chest. Inhale, look up, chin up. Exhale, curl your back. Chin to chest. Inhale, look up, chin up. Exhale, curl your back, chin to chest. Inhale, come to the center, relax, take a couple of normal breaths, and then come up on all four one more time. As we inhale, raise your leg, right leg up. Exhale, bring your knee to the forehead or to the chin, wherever is comfortable. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, chin. Make sure when you are bringing your right leg up, your hips are squared to the ground. Do not lean your torso to one side. One more time. Inhale. Right leg up, then keep it there and we are just going to tap our toe down on the ground and up, keeping the leg straight, down, up. Just keep doing the pulses, breathe normally. Keep going. Perfect. Now, keeping your leg on the ground, we are going to take our opposite leg towards the elbow then keep the left leg down and raise the right leg up so watch me carefully we are going to keep our one leg straight one leg bent raise your right leg up left knee to the elbow then drop the left knee raise your right leg up then left knee to the elbow drop the left knee raise your right leg up and continue Perfect, you are doing great. Keep your core engaged. Very nice. Keep going, just a couple of more. Perfect. Last one. Now hold the leg there and raise your left hand as well. So, opposite hand and leg and pulse up and down right leg left hand pulsing up and down five four three two one two three four five six and relax inhale come to the center relax take a couple of normal breaths you can rotate your wrists clockwise and anti-clockwise to release any pressure that you might be feeling. And we are going to do the same sequence with the left leg. So straighten your left leg up in the air, fold and bring it to your chin or to your elbow, whatever is comfortable for you. Inhale up, exhale down. 
inhale up exhale down making sure that your hips are squared to the ground do not lift your torso on one side inhale up exhale down very nice keep going keep your core engaged beautiful Continue. Keep your left leg up. And keeping the leg up, start tapping it on the floor. Three, four, five. Now drop your leg on the ground and raise your right knee. Alternate right knee to the elbow, left leg straight up. Right knee to the elbow. Left leg straight up. Keep your core engaged. Keep alternating. Come on, you can do it. Core engaged. Very nice. Don't lose your posture. A few more. Very nice. Continue. Now keep the leg up and raise the opposite hand and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Relax in Shavasana or child's pose. I hope you enjoyed today's session. If you have any question or concern, please feel free to write them in the comment box. I would love to answer them. If you have not done so, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so you know when my next video is coming. You can also subscribe to the channel membership for exclusive videos. I wish you all a very happy and healthy day. Namaste.